Good morning, guys. Sorry I sound a bit rough. Went out last night. <laughs> and as you know, I don't drink. And last night, I had two bottles of red wine and dessert. Ugh. Excuse me. She's going to do it. I'll share you. I'll open for you. Thank you. So I look a bit hungover. What do you think about my hair, by the way? Do you love it? <laughs> the video that I created a couple of weeks ago about the how Thailand changed me in the six months that I've been here has been so successful. I thought I need to create another episode. So if you haven't seen the first part, let's call it, I'm going to put the link on screen. But watch this video first and then go back to the first part so you don't mess up my retention, all right? <laughs> so let's continue. I've learned to say no. To say no as well to the money. It's crazy. Before, if somebody would, how would you say it, dangle the carrot or what's the, what's the saying, the English saying? I'd be like, yep, absolutely. Even if it was just going against my values or it was just like I didn't want to do it. If it was with money, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do it. Now, what I've learned, and I feel so proud of myself, when something is against my values and I don't believe in and I don't want to do, even though it means it can bring me so much financially, I still say no. I'm like, no. Thank you very much. Like my biggest income since I've been here was parties. So when I connect people, uh, but that's not me. I don't like to go out. I like to go to bed at 9.30, watch TV before bed and wake up early. It's like now, I went out last night, as you know, guys, got home at like midnight. I think that was the second time in the last seven months that I've been out past 10. And now it's 7 a.m. I record. I'm going to be on my laptop over there working. Aircon is on. Yeah. So the purpose of this video is learn to say no. Honestly, it ain't good when you're doing something that you're not meant to be doing. Trust me. And do you know why I think I've uh, realized that only here? Because I have time to think, I have time to slow down, to stop, to be by myself. Okay guys, well, I'm not sure if it's uh, relevant and actually it's not relevant to this video at all. But I wanted to share something with you today. Hang on a second, who's interrupting me? So today I went to the beach and I never go to the beach as you know. And I had like five hours or maybe six of silence and I've read the book. I swear to you, the thoughts that I have in my head now, everything is clear now. You know, my path is clear. Because for the last week, I felt a little bit lost. I'm like, hold on a second. So what is my purpose? What is the purpose of this channel? What is the purpose of my videos? Like, what's the ultimate goal? And today, reading that book, then posing in between each chapter, it's just, it's just all clear in my head now. And I'm like, wow. This is what silent does to you. It makes it all clear. Um, yeah, if you want to know what book I read or if, you know, if you're interested, then just comment below and I reply. You know, in, in UK, because I used to live in UK, if you don't know, um, you just run around. You run around. It's a rat race. You're constantly thinking, okay, what's next? I want a better car, bigger house, uh, next promotion, new title. Uh, what's my salary increase this year? You actually don't have time to stop for a second and think, okay, what is important for me? What is important for me and for my well-being? Uh, was here. Yeah, I did. So I am so clear on my vision of where I want to be and how I'm going to get there. Stay true to yourself, guys.